Hi guys, today's project is a water snake upgrade. I have the T18 thrust saltwater water snake, um, 12 volt. And what I'm looking to do is a PWM upgrade so I can add a variable speed controller to the water snake. Um, I've also got a battery voltmeter that I'll embed hopefully into the top motor housing. Um, that way once I plug the water snake up to my battery not only is it going to tell me the remaining voltage of the battery and the percentage of power left so I can keep an eye on my power but also I'll have this 20 amp PWM controller that will allow me to modulate the speed of the water snake. This particular water snake only has two speeds in forward and two speeds in reverse and I do find that being able to adjust the speed on the fly um, is not only going to conserve my battery but it will also allow me to fine tune my thrust on the water and I'll also extend my battery life as well. So with a bit of luck um, I anticipate I'll be able to open up the water snake housing. Um, if you take a look inside the water snake, you can see that there is a tiny little bit of space in there if we remove these ribs. I'll just see if that fits into the housing. It may, it may not. If it doesn't, I'll have to replace the whole upper housing uh, with maybe a hobby box or a J box, whatever you like to call them. But hopefully with a bit of luck, we might be able to squeeze this PWM controller into the top of the housing, um, mount the, the dial, and then I'll also try to squeeze this battery voltmeter into the back of the housing. It's going to be a super tight fit, but I'm going to try to do it within the regular housing and see how we go, and that will then give us a lot more range. Alright, I pulled the top mount of the motor cover out and it's just a matter of getting a pair of pliers, pulling out all the spade connectors and that's what you're left with, a whole bunch of wires here. The three that go to the motor head control the motor. So there's a uh, positive and negative to the motor head. There's the blue wire which is connected to what they call coils but it's probably just some form of a resistor. It's the wiring schematics you can see here and of course I found that online but this is true to form. This is for the T18 water snake. It's probably a similar sort of setup for the 24 pound thrust. And these positive and negatives uh, for the power line, they piggyback onto the switch to reverse polarity and to provide reverse gear. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So these three wires here go to the motor head and these wires here are to control the power from the battery line. Um, so what I've done is I've just pulled this off and what I'm going to attempt to do is um, carve out some of these ribs and just see if this uh, PWM controller might slot right in there. It's probably going to be a really tight fit but once we get these ribs out uh, you'll probably see that it, it goes straight in. So that's the plan of attack. I still haven't gotten the wires yet but I thought I'd pull the motor head off first just to get a glimpse of um, how much space we have to work with might just have enough room to fit the bolt battery uh, battery voltmeter onto that as well. It's going to be a super tight fit, but I reckon we could make it work. All right, I'm back. So I've got the wiring 
And just before we start chopping into the motor head of this water snake, I thought, let's plug up the PWM controller, see if it works. Um, so the, the positive and negative going to the motor, I've attached it to the positive and negative going from the PWM. The left hand side here is actually the battery or power and that's piggyback to this uh, connector here. Normally that's for reverse polarity on this switch. And I've pulled that all apart. Before we start doing everything, I may need to make sure that this PWM controller works. So that's all connected, positive and negative to the battery, positive and negative to the motor head or the motor. And as you can see, that little LED light is on, which means that there's power entering through. And this is the potentiometer or the dial. And as you can see, the motor if I start to play around with this switch or oh, it's actually a potentiometer the dial let's see if it works that's max speed now Adjusting this dial here, which will enable me to fully control the speed on the water snake. Everything appears to be working, which is really good. Perfect. It's love and life. So now that we confirm that the PWM controller works, um, all that's left to do is mount it all into the housing. So what I'll be doing from here is actually using my rotary tool and as you can see here there's a guide for the tiller arm this little guide helps prevent the tiller arm from popping up when you retract it and popping popping it out so essentially this little channel here is to create uh, a block i suppose or a way that holds the tiller arm and essentially what I plan to do is just use one of my little rotary tools. I'm gonna to come in here and chop all of this out, gut it out, so that way it creates enough space where I can then mount this PWM controller. And then once it's in the housing, um, I also have to make some space for this voltmeter or battery capacity volt voltage reader. And I'm gonna hopefully have enough clearance in the top of the motor head or the water snake that way it's a nice clean install. So let's get to that right now.
finally managed to cut a hole and that's where the battery voltmeter is going to be nice and situated in the middle there on the top and then there should be enough space in the middle here to mount the PWM and that's going to sit nice and neat in the middle there so yeah once that's all in get it all wired up and give it another test and we are one step closer to the goal so with the PWM I'll probably just hot glue it down um, it's not a level surface by any means but uh, thermal hot glue will get that nice and set um, but yeah I'll show you what it looks like and once the wiring's all done uh, we'll give it another test run and it should be nice and neat cool so this is where we're up to at the moment with the water snake PWM install um, from the front side you can see the voltage meters embedded in the top now there's the potentiometer or the dial to control the speed installed on the back end I've just cleaned and tidied up some of the wiring I've shortened the power cable to the voltage meter which just goes into here for the power and then there's a um, 20 amp fuse on the PWM controller I've mounted the PWM controller with just some hot stick glue I didn't want to drill through these uh, casing of the water snake it looks nicer and um, the hot stick glue uh, mounted on nice and secure um, that's the dial or the speed controller and now all we need to do is wire it all up to these switches now as you'll notice the speed control on the water snake will become obsolete because the variable controller up here controls all of that for us I'll just um, plug it up hopefully uh, forward and reverse will work uh, but we'll see how that goes it's just a matter of now wiring up the water snake on the water snake here you can see that there's there's normally three cables that come out of the shaft that's um, negative to the motor and then positive to the motor and then there's the blue cable as well which is actually a coil line uh, we don't need a coil line it becomes obsolete with the PWM controller I've also spliced the lines um, for the positive crimped on some spade female spade terminals and done the same thing for the negative crimped on an extra line to feed into the PWM controller alright it's all put back together um, I recommend just before you put the water snake head back on just make sure that it all works I'm um, connected at all um, everything should be working so I'll just plug it back in so you guys know positive first then negative see the volt meter is working as well and just dial the PWM There you have it guys, it's all connected, nice handy voltmeter to tell me how much remaining battery there is, PWM fine tuning speed control, when I'm on the water I can get a precise speed.
Well done. Works very nicely. There you have it guys. The project's complete. Um, as you can see I've just utilised the water snakes um, primary housing case. I didn't have to buy a new J-Box or a new case. Um, this will be perfect for trolling on my kayak. Once I hit the water, go fishing, go kayaking. Um, but yeah, you can pick up a PWM controller from eBay, fairly inexpensive. Um, if you want forward and reverse, make sure you get the one with the toggle switch. And apart from that, it's a pretty straightforward process. There's only four connections you need to make sure you do. Um, positive and negative to the battery or power source, and then positive and negative to the motor output. And that's it, it's nice and easy. Hope you guys get it done. And I look forward to hearing if you complete the project as well. Cheers.